So there's this obvious imbalance here. If you were going to try to describe it to a young person or to a visitor who got here five minutes ago to Earth and had no clue, how would you describe what the problem is here? They have entered the reality of the already dead who are just spending their lives waiting to die. The reality of the spiritually disconnected. This is the reality that seems to be prevalent because it's like you look at the leadership or you look at the institutions or the things that, that are held up in these esteems and they, none of these things seem to have any spiritual relationship to life. You know, so it's like uh, no spiritual relationship to life. It's almost like no spiritual recognition. We're in, we're in a time in reality where the human beings that are now on, that the human beings, in the, at least in the technologic world, no longer remember the, the original dream. They no longer remember their ancestors or the teachings or the knowledge. They no longer have these things of their ancestor, of their ancestry. So it's almost like they're spiritually disconnected from the past. And when you look at the situations that, the conditions that we live in now, with the way that, you know, uh, the way that the cancers of greed and, and war, the way that these viruses, these diseases have spread, and everyone, and no one is really taking responsibility to, <laughs> to effectively deal with these things. I mean, people are having emotional reactions and emotional outbursts and these types of things, but, but no one's taking clear and coherent action to deal with these, this, this disease of aggression that is taking place. So it's almost like, because of that, it's, it's almost like they have no spiritual relationship to their own descendants. So it's like, you know, so no spiritual relationship to the past, the ancestry. No spiritual relationship to the ancestry in the shape of the future. So whatever this disease of aggression and violence and greed and all, whatever this disease mentality is, it lives in this life system now. It's eating up the spirit of, of the diseased. They, they, and they don't even know it's happening. <laughs> they have, they, they, they don't. They, they, they have no relationship to being. They only function and react as humans. They have no relationship to being. Being always is. This is how we're with our ancestry and with our descendants, being. When we leave as humans, we go back to being. Being, human being, that really means something. But we live in a reality now, we're in a time where I would say to anyone, you know, protect your spirit. <laughs> protect your spirit because because you're in the place where spirits get eaten.